Another group of techniques that you'll see quite often in Aikido is Tanto Tori. Uh, this is the, the group of techniques that deals with how to take a knife away from a partner. So a Tanto is being the smallest weapon that we use also creates a fair amount of danger because your partner is going to be very close with that weapon. So a lot of the techniques involved in Tanto Tori tend to be a little more aggressive in order to completely diffuse the situation. So if we start with a Tanto, Again, the very basic uh, initial starting point for a lot of these attacks is going to be ski. So again, we're looking at a punch or a stab directly to the stomach. All right. And again, as in any Aikido technique, the most important thing for me is to get offline and away from the initial attack. So we've seen kodagaishi before, or wrist twist, without a weapon. And this can be directly applied uh, to tanto dori. And the way that this would differ a little bit from open hand techniques is because my partner has a knife, as the strike comes in, I can use that weapon both to influence his movement and I also need to be aware that I want to keep the weapon away from my partner. I'm not going to sit down to create the pin in this situation. I want to stay standing and remain with the weapon. Another variation that we see a lot uh, hijikime are another one of the elbow techniques and this is specifically designed to make sure that <laughs> your partner's weapon hand is immobilized. So this is a point where you want to apply subtle and constant pressure. Uh, try not to break the arm, but you want to apply the pressure until your partner needs to drop the weapon and then you can get rid of your partner. Again from the other side, again control the weapon, open the space up directly underneath against the elbow, take your wrist, and squeeze. All right. We also see a fair amount of chokes and immobilizations from this point. Lift before we went under the elbow. This time we're going to continue all the way around. Wrap the neck up. In order to remove the knife, we're going to step back and drop on the closest knee and apply pressure to the elbow against my knee that's up until your partner drops the knife. All right. One other kubishime technique that you'll see quite often. To the side, all the way around and take the gi from the other side and separate. Again, down on the closest knee, pressure on the elbow. Right. So one more time. Tanto Tori. These are just some of the most common techniques that you'll see against a knife and how to remove it from your partner. There are several others uh, which generally pertain to open hand techniques, but these are some basic beginning points on Tanto Tori.